I did it. My research is finished at last. Tomorrow I'll submit it to the professor. It will be a big day. Tomorrow is the anniversary of Dad's disappearance, too. It's already been ten years. Henry Morgan, the famous archaeologist, vanished under mysterious circumstances. This was the most recurring headline in the newspapers. I'm sorry, Dad. I tried really hard to understand where your final research took you. A hello to Mom, and then to sleep. Unfortunately, she can't be here tomorrow. Her latest expedition in the Amazon is taking longer than expected. Let's hope she receives my email. Good night, Mom. Coming! This postman believes that everything he delivers is urgent. One can never even get a few hours rest. It's only 2 p.m. The day has only just started. Let's see. Bills. A letter for me? Nobody writes to me, usually. It's dated July 25th, 2008. The same day my father disappeared. Dear Willie, it's Dad. If you received this letter, it means that my mission didn't go according to plan. I can't linger or I would put your mother and you in danger. You must go to the old inn in Bone Town as soon as possible. Room 09, but never trust anyone. Everything begins there in the warmth of a friendly place. Love, Dad. Hmm. It certainly isn't a prank. The style and handwriting are my father's. I've looked for clues to his disappearance for ten years. And I even got a letter from him. I must leave for Bone Town immediately. I'll have to manage somehow, because Mom is still traveling. But Bone Town isn't far. With a little money and a bike, I can get there in a few hours. I saw the bike around the house. There's even some money around here somewhere. Off we go. Perfect, I already found the bike. Or rather, what's left of it. To leave, I'll need all the other parts, too. Hi, I'm Willie. Would you like to take a short tutorial to learn how to handle things in my world? All right, let's start. A bicycle wheel. Too easy. I need a ladder to get to it. They will come in handy. I'll take them with me. Here they are. Too many drawers. I don't have enough clothes to fill them all. Empty. I could fill it up with the stuff inside the boxes around the corner in the corridor. It won't be an ISO 9000 certified ladder, but it will do. Got you, wheel. It's a tribute to my favorite band by the artist Glenn Fernandez Sardi. Essential for traveling. It won't come off. It looks like it's bolted on. No way. If we start by taking a key at the beginning of the adventure, what will happen next? My trusty old piggy bank. My mother gave it to me as a present. According to her, it's the best way to learn home economics. Or, in other words, learn to save. And judging by the sound the piggy bank makes, I got pretty good at it. Its contents could come in handy. Giotto always had one too, or so they say. If only there was a rubber chicken, but these could come in handy too.
We had moved recently, and after my father's disappearance, everything was left as it was. I feel more at ease taking it with me. It's always good to have one for a pleasant bike ride. Let's take it. One never knows what might come next. I confirm my morning impression. I'm particularly handsome today. And even the pimples I had yesterday have vanished, making room for other smaller ones. I was ready for a nice relaxing bath. Best to postpone it. I need something to get the plug out. I don't want to get wet. It has to be liquid in order to use it. It won't come out of the bottle otherwise. I see no alternative. Now you'll discover the huge power of a plunger. Nice work. Now, I can safely leave home. Well, look what was hiding in the bathtub. It's certainly a part of the bicycle. I'm amazed by the extremely intelligent use I made of it. The screws don't turn. They got rusty with time. Et voila! Excellent! The heat from the lamp is melting the oil. It's ready to use now. The rusty screws are loosening up. I also finished the suntan oil. I better leave the empty bottle here. Now it works. Let's see if this rubber hammer might come in handy. Let's not do that anymore. This is the map that led my mother to the discovery of her first sunken shipwreck. I've decided to keep this souvenir as a good luck charm. She's been looking for new treasures ever since, a little like my father before his disappearance. They were always soulmates. Since my father left, mom has devoted herself entirely to me and her work. Then I grew up. It's the family crest. I don't think it has the same value as that of lords or barons. As a matter of fact, I believe it was created by my father to honor the Morgan roots in pursuit of knowledge for glory and posterity. Dad used to say this at the end of bedtime stories, the protagonist of which was invariably a Morgan. Strange object. Let's see what happens when I pull one of the branches. I thought so. Ingenious! Typical of my mother. I bet she designed it. Look at the nice ring inside it. It looks ancient, and there's also an engraving inside. Difficult to make out. S.C. Arvis Mag A. I think I know what it is. I'll put it in the bag. It might come in handy. Wow! Now in your inventory you have items that you can combine. Doing so is if six tried to... And it came to pass that my criminal career began.
It's my mother's alarm clock. Ever since she gave it to me to repair, though, it stopped working altogether. Let's see what's wrong with it. Look what was inside it. Maybe that's why it wasn't working. Replacing the internal alarm with the bicycle bell might not have been a brilliant idea. I don't need a broken alarm clock for my trip. I think I'll need it shortly. They were all written by Elizabeth Reed, my mother. To me, it's a sort of logbook of her travels over the last 10 years. After touring the world, she decided to partly reveal the origin of her discoveries. I'm in many of them, before becoming mature enough to look after our home and carry out my own research. My mother took almost everything with her for this journey. Excellent idea. That way I can open it without causing irreparable damage. I wonder how much I've managed to save in the last few months. Uh, I expected more. All that noise and all I got is this lot of gears? I don't even know how they ended up in here. My ancestors were great navigators. According to family legend, our lineage descends from no less than the famous pirate Henry Morgan. But this is another story. He's my grandfather, himself a famous archaeologist. He was among the first to discover the lost civilizations of the Amazon. I'm the bookworm of the family. To remember my little dog Pipoca, and to keep the front door closed, Old reminders. More books. The famous What Became of the Great Archaeological Finds by I. Jones and History of Sunken Ships, Chapter 1. Closely related to the second chapter, History of Sunken Ships, Incorrect Construction Techniques. Books, some of them, nowhere else to be found. One-Eyed Willie, His History and Secrets by M. Goonies. How to Get Out of the Kraken by J. Sparrow and the timeless Green Stones and Old Legends by J.T. Colton. More books. The famous what and his closely history of books, some of them. One-Eyed Willie, How to Get a Green I see my favorite section about real-life pirates is also here. Pirate Code by H. Morgan, Treasure Trove Troubleshooting, and the number one book, Grog and Other Delights. More books. The famous and his closely history of the family's library. It contains precious volumes such as Fifty Shades of Wood, which one to use in shipyards, and cannibals are people too. The family's library, it can 50 shades of wood, cannibals, the family's book collection, it goes from ancient pirate rituals by LeChuck to little known pirate songs by G. Threepwood. And there's also how to look for treasures without a map, five volumes by M. Impossible. I see my favorite section, pirate code, treasure, tre and the, the family's library, 50 shades of wood, cannibal, It's a regular gas stove. I can't. When mom leaves for a trip, she always turns off the gas to avoid any unpleasant surprises. She always says that for a kid my age, the microwave is more than enough. I don't think the incident last year helped. Let's just say that calling the fire department about a burned pan can't exactly be considered my finest moment. They look like tins to store pasta or cookies. In this, my mother used to hide little surprises for me. Let's see if I'm still lucky. Would you look at this? It looks like there's a little emergency money in the bottom of the tins. There's no greater emergency than this. Pepperoni and pineapple pizza. A real delicacy.
Various foods. Easy to warm up in the microwave and nutritious enough. I can't take it. It serves an important function in this fridge. I used it temporarily to reinforce one of the shelves. If I pull it out, everything will fall down. I first need to fix the shelf. Just what I needed. I couldn't go anywhere without it. This is a brilliant example of how a kitchen can be untidy and clean at the same time. Very good! There's still something missing. Another part. Almost ready. Making progress. I can glimpse its shape. I'd really love to try it. I think there's still something missing. I don't know how to connect it. Nearly there. Not long to go. Perfect. A few more parts. Not long to go. Nearly there. They connect perfectly. Not long to go. How professional. The bike is ready. I just have to take it, and that's it. Bone Town, here I come! Let's go.